Welcome back, everybody. My name is Renee, and this is Highly Motivated. Today, we're going to be reacting to a couple of different things. We're going to have a video from the Manosphere, and we're also going to have three different TikToks that are Tinder dating nightmares. Are you ready? Let's get right into it. I don't want to be an independent woman anymore. <laughs> this is not already this is starting out great <laughs> not all that it's cracked up to be been doing it for quite some time now and tired please lay off the lip fillers ladies this does not look good your lips look like inflated balloons somebody come get me the answer is hell no <laughs> i quit at being independent i don't want to do this shit no more this shit is draining I'm so ready to have a man come into my life and take care of me. My tired. This is a product of women going against their natural abilities. We are nurturers. We are emotional. And, and men are protectors, providers. They're analytical. And it doesn't make men better than us or us better than men or vice versa them, you know, us less than. It just means that we're different and we will excel in different things. We were made to complement each other, not be in competition with each other. Just pop. Two of my tires pop. And I'm sitting in my car because I don't know what the fuck to do. Obviously, I know Call what to do. But I don't want to do this shit no more. Like, I'm ready to have someone come into my life and take care of me. This shit is so fucking draining. This in independent life, like, I don't want to do this shit no more. I quit. Because every time something happens, I always have to figure shit out on my own. And I don't want to do that shit no more. Yeah. <laughs> renuncio, ya no quiero ser independiente. Ya, yeah. I want to be spoiled and taken care of. Because I don't have to, I shouldn't have to be stressing about shit like this. <clears throat> You're right. <clears throat> You're right. I'm tired. Feminism taught them to be strong and independent, but after they get tired, they have the luxury of giving up and allowing some man to take care of them. Men don't have that option. You're right. Men, cannot men don't have that option because they were meant to provide and protect. If you have, I feel like a broken record, but if you have God as your foundation, then everything else falls into place quit being independent therefore we don't have sympathy for you facts this world has changed so much we as women are so independent now and that's okay but it's also okay to need a man yes. i need a man i need a man to wash my car i need a man to help me go get my car fixed get my brakes done pump my gas take the groceries in the house rub on my booty you know, do you notice that all these women have one thing in common? They have all these things they want a man to do for them, yet they have no idea what a man wants them to do for them. Or they call it, they call submitting to your husband some sort of form of slavery, yet at the same time, they're asking for all these things. It should be reciprocated 100%, 100, 100, 100, 100 not 50, 50. Let's move on. I'm tired of being independent. <laughs> Quit I'm whining. <laughs> independent. But you are a strong and independent woman. You don't need no man. Rub on your own booty. <laughs> Do it yourself. You know, I don't want to be a strong, independent woman. I think we have enough strong, independent women. I'm going to take it to the next level. I want to be a mushy, soft, relaxed, taken care of as fuck woman. Like, 30 people on my team, people opening doors for me, making me dinner, waking me up in the morning, massaging my feet kind of woman, you know, self-serving, loving. There it is right there. She just summed up everything in one word or one, two words, self-serving. If this isn't blatant narcissism, again, is she saying anything that she is offering to said man? No. What do they say? I am the table. It's ridiculous. Juicy, embodied, deliciously feminine Ugh. kind of woman. I think we know at this point we're strong. We've got to be independent. Of course I can take care of myself. Now I want to be taken care of. 
I want to need my man. I want to be wined and dined by my man, by my king. I'm the queen. And I'm relaxed as fuck. And I know who I am. Mm. Let's take this to the next level. Why does this sound so weirdly sexual? I, I, I'm I not a fan of how she's speaking. <laughs> I would say no. Because men have always <laughs> right. had to be independent. Nope. But we don't use it as some badge of honour. We just get on with it. But now, she wants to turn around and have some man take care of her because she's tired. Right. Like men are here to suddenly serve her when mm. she decides to. She's playing you for a sucker! Once she realizes that she's been lied to, it's a little bit too late. I'm tired of it. I don't want to be I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? That means independent. Okay, I don't even want to hear what she has to say yet. Why are you in a towel? You couldn't put clothes on before you decided to whip out your phone and make a TikTok? Like, come on. Ugh. Motherfucker, I don't want to be independent anymore. <laughs> you don't want to be dressed wanna either, be apparently. <laughs> I want to be a housewife. I want to have kids. I don't want to work. I've been working since I was 14. I'm almost 25. I've been independent since I was 18. I'm almost 25. I'm over it. I'm over it. I want they sold us a lie. They brought women into the workforce and then they halved the money that you bring home. And now it requires two incomes for a household. But actually, let me rephrase that. Two incomes can no longer run a, ho a household. The majority, the median income of most Americans is like $38,000 or something like that. Like, and in inflation keeps going up. Our money isn't worth as much and we're not making any more money. But then people are saying that we're lazy because we don't want to work 40 hour weeks and still be struggling. No, that's not laziness. We're tired of building Babylon. Stay home. I want to stay at home. I want to be submissive. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to work. <laughs> I don't want to make money. I want to raise children. Yep. I want to be housewife. I want to be happy. Good. I want to do as I please. At fucking home! What the fuck is this independence? I'm over it. And I've had this argument, too, with other women who are feminists, and they say, you know, we uh, you know, we have the option to go to work and this and that. But wait a minute. Now we no longer have the option to stay home. So as boss, babe, free women, feminists, we have limited our options. Yeah, we're winning. No, we were sold a lie. We bought into it, and now we don't want to admit. I'm over it! Don't let any of these retired independent women use <laughs> Retired. <laughs> if they did not start out as traditional, it's likely they will never learn to become traditional. These independent women see you as a one-way ticket to some easy life where they don't have to do anything. As men, we have to work our entire lives to provide for ourselves. I don't agree with that because when you're a housewife, you don't do nothing like you have to take care of the household you have to make sure it's clean you have to take care of the children you have to make sure a lot of women to handle the bills like there are a lot of responsibilities for a stay-at-home wife but i think what he might have been talking about is this particular woman who said that she wanted to stay home and do nothing so and others but you can quit this life if you work hard enough that's why it's important for men to make enough money so we can retire and live comfortably later on in life. That's a good plan. This is going to be a little different. This is a Tinder dating nightmare from a man. Let's check him out. So I guess Tinder horror stories are all the rave right now. And I think this one's going to be tough to beat. Okay. okay. So I was talking to this girl for a couple I'm of here days. for it. We decided to get together, go and get an appetizer. So... I meet her, she looks like her photo is perfect. We sit down, and without me getting a word in, this girl starts going off telling me about how most of her family members are in mental institutions with schizophrenia. 
Then she tells me this morbid story about watching her best friend die because he was driving drunk. Then she tells me that if she was to ever get pregnant, that she would keep it if it's a boy, but she wouldn't keep it if it's a girl, because she doesn't want to raise a girl in this society. Okay, I'm getting the feeling like she's trying to turn him off, but if she's not, then wow. So at this point, I excuse myself to the washroom, and I'm standing there looking at myself in the mirror, like, bro. Like, just, like, <laughs> Existential like, crisis. Like, nope, I invited her out. I'm going to see this through. I'll, like, pay the bill. So I go sit back down, and the food comes, and I've had, like, two or three bites, and she goes, do you know what eczema is? And I'm like... Uh, eczema? Uh, yeah, that's, like, that's that rash that people get. She's like, yeah, so I have that on my feet. And I'm like, oh, like, Ew. Uh, sorry? Like, it, wh whatever, like, not a big deal. People get it. And she's like, want to see? Ew, like, no, at the dinner not, table! Like meeting right now. And she pulls out her phone, and she starts showing me photos of the most disgusting, rotten feet I have ever seen. Oh, I'm still so traumatized. <laughs> Anyway, I'm like, please stop. Like, I don't want to see this right now. And she just, like, keeps putting the phone in my face. And me like, no, no, look, look, look. And at this point, I'm like, this is a prank. Like, somebody has hired her. Maybe she knows one of my exes or something like that. Like, there's <laughs> no way. But she just wouldn't stop. So, anyway, I, I'd, like, get the bill, pay it. And I'm like, like, it's time to go. So, I'm waiting with her for her Uber to come at this point. And now she's, like, trying to come home with me. And I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> this, no. This did not go well. Like, it's time for you to leave. She wants so to I rub those tender horror stories are all the rave right now, and I think this one's going to be tough to beat. She wants to rub her nasty feet all over him. Ew, <laughs> that was gross. It's not very often that we see Tinder dating stories from men, so I thought you would enjoy that. Let's move right on to Tinder horror number two. her body oh no <gasps> wow ladies that is why you do not go home with just anyone man like don't even feel weird if you need to ask them for their id because if they don't want to give it to you maybe they're not worth seeing <laughs> I'm so glad that I am married. All right, let's check out the last Tinder nightmare. Here we go. If you ever feel like crap about yourself, I want you to remember that I went on a Tinder date. I met this man at his home. I walked in and saw him in bed next to literal dog shit. <gasps> he wiped it off his neck. He rolled the turd on the floor and patted the bed like this for me to come sit next to Oh me. my gosh! And I did. Wow. Okay, that might have been the nastiest thing that I have ever heard. Wow, that was definitely a nightmare. And that was everything for today. Thank you for joining me, everybody. My name is Renee, and this is Highly Motivated. See you guys later.